Greetings, I'm Colonel Stephen Dillon, commander of the 253rd Cyberspace Engineering Installation, an organization consisting of the 253rd, 212th Engineering Installation Squadron, and the 202nd Weather Flight. Back in November, I spoke about the Chief of Staff of the Air Force, General Charles Brown's white paper, Accelerate Change or Lose. For this month's topic, I'd like to talk about the compendium to Accelerate Change or Lose, General Brown's CSAF action orders. In the CSAF action orders, General Brown identifies four key categories, airmen, bureaucracy, competition, and design implementation. I'm going to highlight each action order briefly to give you a sense of what the chief is asking of our Air Force. I encourage you to read the full text online in order to capture the framework of his action orders. Action order A, airmen. Leaders owe airmen and their families the quality of service and quality of life where all can reach their full potential. Leaders have a responsibility to provide clear guidance so our airmen are able to make decisions at the lowest levels. This is critical so we can execute the mission even if the guidance is unclear or our ability to communicate is disrupted in a contested environment. Ultimately, airmen must be resilient and ready to operate and succeed in the future high-end fight. Action order B, bureaucracy. Bureaucracy exists in any large organization. It is a necessity to address complex Air Force-wide decisions, but not a requirement for all of our decisions. General Brown believes our bureaucracy requires a tune-up to enable us to make decisions at the speed needed in the dynamic global environment. Action order C, competition. Accelerate change or lose, but lose to who? While the stakes are clear enough, we must fully understand our competitors. Our national defense strategy acknowledges an increasing complex global security environment characterized by overt challenges to the free and open international order and the reemergence of long-term strategic competition between nations. For example, China is remodernizing their military and Russia seeks to disrupt the North Atlantic Treaty Organization Alliance with emerging technology. Action order D, design implementation. We must learn now to be able to be agile and adapt to the future. No matter what happens with the budget, it will require us to make tough choices. We need to begin by determining what we need in the future and then make decisions that support that vision. General Brown seeks to identify systems and programs that are outdated and or unaffordable to make way for capabilities that will make us competitive in the future high-end fight. In conclusion, it is evident we are now living in a consequential time to be in the Air Force, as we have the, an opportunity to make decisions today to shape the Air Force we need in the future. Change is critical and speed is paramount. General Brown's strategic approach of accelerate change or lose explains the why. These action orders provide the what. It's the way we address these action orders that will provide the how. Thank you for watching and happy 4th of July as our nation celebrates its 245th birthday.